and to be a fly on the wall with the power of teleportation and time travel because, oh, to be in the room for when meetings regarding filmmaking are made because I would love to find out if my theories regarding the weird-ass decisions filmmakers and producers make are correct because when it comes to the man with the golden gun, I'm picturing Cubby Broccoli insisting that they try to recapture the success they had with Goldfinger by having the song talk about the titular character. Now, honestly, not a bad idea. It's a movie about a world-famous assassin, and the title draws attention to that fact, so the song should complement the character in question. However, where Goldfinger has many virtues, which will be explored later, suffice to say, <laughs> you won't find any of those virtues here in The Man with the Golden Gun. This song is just plain goofy. To start, the lyrics are silly. They're what I would imagine a commercial would sound like if it were legal to advertise contract killers. The lyrics list off all of Scaramanga's attributes, his asking price, hell, it even sneaks a cum joke in there. Love is required whenever he's hired, it comes just before the kill. Paired with bombastic horn sections and garishly played with twangs of an electric guitar, you begin questioning whether or not we're supposed to take any of these proceedings seriously. Which is a shame, because the pre credit sequence does a really good job of establishing why the title character is someone we should take seriously. First we go from... To... And it's just plain jarring. Sure, an argument could be made that this song does complement the rest of the movie, but given the kind of movie that The Man with the Golden Gun is, that doesn't really bring much in the way of confidence. The visuals of the opening credits aren't much to write home about either. If anything, it feels like it's trying to be a hyperactive, oversexed, ADHD variation of the opening credits from You Only Live Twice. Asian women, fireworks, silhouettes, and the occasional fetishizing of the Golden Gun. It's the visual equivalent of throwing pasta on the wall, and unfortunately, very little of it sticks. And sticking is the one thing an opening sequence needs to do, above all, in the minds of filmgoers. And unlike the subject of the song, the man with the golden gun misses that mark by a wide margin.